Okay. I think everybody can see you here. Um, can you hear me okay? I certainly can. Awesome. Okay. Let's see. How are you doing today? I'm doing great. And this is her, her headphones. She should be able to hear. We, awesome. We're going to talk to one mic because I just yep. moved into this house recently. Um, but she will be able to hear everything you say and all that. Awesome. Hi, how are you doing? I'm great. Yeah, go ahead. Introduce yourself. Hi, I'm great. How are you doing? I'm doing great. Congratulations on the marriage. Thank you. I was excited to do an interview with you. I think this is a great idea. <laughs> yeah, awesome. Um, uh, let me so, ask you a question, yeah. Stardust. Hold on. Let me ask you a question. Uh, yes. What made you want to do this interview? Um, I just thought it would be interesting. I, somebody suggested maybe doing like um, an all females night um, uh, as some sort of event that I could do like weekly um, where we play cards. And, or something and like hold that. on, let me. Mexicano sent five dollars. I D G A F. What anyone thank you for says, that. I fucking love Ethan Ralph. Thank you for that. I'm going to mute my power chats channel. just for uh, out of respect. You got your own power chat. So at the end, maybe you'll sit for some of mine too. Uh, that's up to you, yeah. but I'm going to mute yeah, sure. that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm going to mute that for now. I'm happy uh, to sit for anything. Also, sure. if people want to come and scream at me, I'm sure. Totally well, you know, that. you know yeah. how it goes. <laughs> I love it. So, yeah. All right. Now, go ahead. What, uh, you know, what was the impetus? What, what made you think of this? Uh, I just thought, you know, there's a lot going around with um, lately with you and getting married and all of that. And then you're somebody who's like at the center of a lot of like things going on online. So I thought it might be interesting to get the perspective of somebody who's just gotten married to you and somebody who's probably been watching stuff going on for a while and who is, you know, who, who cares about you. So, yeah. yeah I mean, I think, yeah, I, I think it makes total sense. I mean, it's kind of yeah. a uh, unique situation. Also, um, you know, she used to be and, and still is an art content creator and went out there oh, wow. and gave her own opinions uh, and has been on my show from time to time. But in terms of a platform that I don't control, um, I thought it would be worthwhile to, to have her on here. And I'm here, too, um, as well. But um you know, uh, we, we've had a good relationship. Not that she'll take it easy on anybody, uh, but I trust Stardust to be a fair arbiter. Uh, I appreciate that. Um, so I guess the first thing I would want to ask both of you is, um, I guess the most recent thing I saw was uh, there's something going on with Brittany from Politically Provoked. Um, <laughs> yeah, I, I don't, I, I guess she's going at... Uh, Tenryo and some stuff on politically provoked. Um, yeah. I wouldn't say I, I did come out kind of hard uh, against her on Twitter. Uh, I'm not really 100,000% up on what's going on there. Right. <laughs> yeah. So I don't want to like, I did talk yeah. some shit. Um, but you know, Brittany's always been kind to me. She's been kind to Pantu. I know she's got a lot of heat within the community. Um, mm -hmm. and she brought, you know, B Jesse PS, uh, faked a sex tape of my wife who's sitting right here next to me. Oh my, my gosh. My legitimate wife now, no joke. We got married, lost Vegas, Nevada last week. Uh, and, um, it, it seemed like she was kind of, and again, I could be wrong. And if she wants to correct me, that's fine. And I'll accept that. But it seemed like she was trying to kind of grift off that. You had people like Andy Worski who knew it was a fake the entire mm -hmm. time, uh, begging for a thousand dollar donation so that he could review it on air. I mean, these are people who are just, you know, it's a LARP. It's a complete, fa you know, farce. Uh, mm -hmm. And somebody like that. Uh, you know, you're, you're knowingly, you know, it's not real. You ask for a thousand dollars worth of donations to, to review it. I mean, I, you know, that's about as unethical as it gets. I don't know Brittany's deep involvement with it. And I tend to want to err on the side of, I like Brittany. Uh, but mm -hmm. you know, um, you know, it comes down to it where sometimes you have to pick a side and these people are doing a lot of fucked up shit to be honest with you uh and they you know days uh two days after my wedding they put out you know images and tried to fake uh, a sex tape of my wife and of course it wasn't real uh and again you know i'm not gonna moral high, moral high horse or or whatever but the point is these motherfuckers don't have a moral high horse either you know what I'm saying? This is yeah. a cesspool and the idea that they're the good guys is ridiculous in my opinion. <laughs> yeah. Um, that is wild. So just a few days after you got married, somebody made a, uh, you said, yeah. Jesse. 
Yeah, it was. It was. Uh, well, it was actually. Uh, there, there were two <laughs> yeah. fucking fake yeah. sex tapes. There yeah, so there was two. So there was two. So Jesse actually commissioned a deep fake sex tape and put that out oh there. Uh, and then there was also like she was eating a taco in some old video, and they tried to make it look like she was sucking a dick. And by the way, sad yeah. as it is to say, her father played along with this, and Harry Morris is just as big a scumbag as any of the rest of them. And that's what I truly think. The fact that you would put your own daughter out there for like lulls on the internet, I couldn't even imagine. I'd rather fucking slit my throat than do something like yeah. that but you know and, and everybody always points to the anything goes or everything goes you know quote mm -hmm. that i made uh but no that doesn't that's not you know your own children like what in the fuck anyway i think it's debaucherous i think it's just absolutely insane if it was against anybody but me they would be burning the house down and you know it mm -hmm. and and again you know i have my own record it is what it is but mm -hmm. this is ridiculous yeah. Um, so when you first started dating each other, um, did it did, did the amount of attention that Ethan gets online come out immediately in the relationship or? No, because we kept our relationship on the down low because of scandals uh -huh. that were going on. So it was kind of like slowly, gradually I was introduced into the mix. Uh -huh. But, I, yeah. you know, I was kind of Internet famous before, so I've been used to a oh, lot really? of the drama. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Well, what were you Internet famous for? I did like anime YouTube videos. Oh, so, cool! Yeah, yeah. Um, wow. Um, so, so when you first, I guess, when you started getting introduced into the mix with everything that's that goes on with Ethan and how he's like the center of a lot of trolling and a lot of controversy, um, what were your first thoughts? I guess when you first saw the full intensity of it. Uh, I don't really know if I had any like crazy thoughts about it. Like, I knew what the deal was when I got into a relationship with him. Like the extent to People would troll him. Uh, mm -hmm. Pretty much people were fucking with me as soon as it became clear that we were together, um, which I was expecting. Like, our address got leaked. He got yeah. swatted, like, a bunch of times. People do all sorts of crazy shit, but, like, I knew what I was getting myself into. Like, in my previous relationship, somebody mm -hmm. actually came to my house, like, a troll online. My address was doxxed. They came into my house with duct tape and um, handcuffs and literally oh tried gosh. to kidnap me and take me out of my house. So this was all before I was with Ethan. And they so pled I, guilty to two felonies yeah. over this, by the way. And they got, like, yes. no jail oh my time. Oh, God, but that is terrifying. Yeah, I mean, that's um, people are crazy. Like, I knew that yeah. getting with Ethan. And that's one of the reasons I think that we have a, a connection is because we both know how crazy people can get, and we still don't give yeah. a shit. Like, don't give a shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I see you both are rocking the sunglasses uh, <laughs> at night look. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Well, you know, my face got bashed in in Portugal. Actually, it's not that bad, though. I don't have to wear them. I didn't wear them for the longest. And Nick Fuentes says, you know what? You look better with the sunglasses. And I don't, I don't know if that was a sly dig. It wasn't. I'm just kidding. Uh, but no, I was like, no, I was just like, I was just like, actually, it does look better with the sunglasses. Um, but yeah, my orbital bone got cracked, you know, uh, oh. broken in. Uh, in Portugal, so and then I almost died like three months earlier oh in a gosh. side on what? wreck uh, there in uh, what? What, uh, what was Northern the Maryland. what happened three months earlier? Uh, I was driving my 2020 Nissan Sentra and um, <laughs> got hit and not a head-on collision, but a side-on collision. Yeah. yeah, I got T-boned. So uh, yeah, honestly, I'm blessed to be here. I've been in. <laughs> other wrecks and stuff like that too i know some people wish it, wish it didn't turn out that way but uh yeah I'm, I'm blessed to be here for sure yeah yeah i mean one thing that any any content creator has to say about ethan ralph is like ethan ralph always gets back up no matter what you know uh um he he just keeps on going so um, I think that's a testament to, you know, who you are and how long you've been around. So, Well, I appreciate you saying that, and I think even a lot of the haters uh, would say that. And I, I plan on, you know, uh, keep, keeping it uh, keeping it rolling. We're doing something in Dallas uh, in May. Um, and, yeah, I thought Ralph Mania, you know, if you talk if you talk to the people at Ralph Mania, and I'll, I'll show some more of the footage soon, um, that thing was a mega success. Now, obviously, there was some – you know craziness surrounding it too um but yeah i'm thinking uh i'm thinking we're gonna be around for a long time we're so back <laughs> Sardis, i have a question for you sure yeah, like yeah. has have you had any like crazy interactions with people who watch your show like people trying to fuck with you offline the most i've had is um i had an ex-moderator uh 
threatened to show up to an event that I was going to. And that was a little bit, that was a little Creepy, bit scary for yeah. me. And, yeah. It was, uh, well, you know, was, what's fucked up though. I want to say this. They say that she like set that guy up. That's the narrative on Kiwi farms. Yeah, that's, that's how, no, that's no, I want to say this. No, I want to say this. Let's just put this out in the air because they have a whole narrative that you told that guy to come to your house and fucking kidnap you. What he the literally pled guilty. Like that's bullshit. He pled guilty wow. to double felonies. The guy should be in prison for like five years. Uh, but you know how it goes. Uh, they let him go. They said he was schizophrenic. It's public like, record that he pled guilty to. Yeah. yeah cause they said, yeah. Cause he went to, um, you know, a shrink, uh, and got out of that. But you know what? And again, I'm not going to do the me too thing, but it's one thing for me to get out here and talk shit, but they will, um, you know, grab a female or hurt a female. And you do have to be a little more aware, uh, in, in, in those types of situations. So I think that keeps a lot of women from well, yeah. joining this. Yeah. I don't want to sound like, really look, I don't want to sound like Anita Sarkeesian, but, <laughs> but honestly it is like, you know, a guy's just like, well, fuck it. Kill me. I don't care. Fuck you, bitch. Uh, and then, you know, it might actually turn into that type of situation for a female. So, uh, yeah, mm -hmm. I agree. Yeah. Um, so I heard you also recently graduated from university. Um, how was doing that with everything going on? Uh, I was just really proud of myself. Like, obviously, I'm taking care of my daughter. She's almost 10 yeah. months now. So, yeah. Uh, yeah, I was doing classes during the winter and summer, too, to kind of expedite the process just to get it get over it as yeah. fast as possible. But I had, you know, several credits from I was previously enrolled in the college and then I just reentered their online program a couple of years ago just to finish up my degree. And uh, yeah. I don't know, just it's another thing that I checked off my list and another thing that mm -hmm. I, you know, just mm -hmm. have have done. <laughs> yeah. But I got my degree oh, in public yeah. relations. So it's like it's kind of funny because my life is oh. like the opposite of public relations. <laughs> they said, you know, what's funny is your tweet. I do not. Can I just say this on air? I do not write her tweets period. Uh, and sometimes they may fall in line with what I think, but they don't always. Uh, and I do not write her tweets. I do not control her social media. I, I would never stop her from communicating. Like, I read all the craziest you fucking, shit. If you tried to do tweets for me, I would literally fight your ass. I'd be like... Ooh. I mean, you would lose, but I'm just saying, but no, I would not stop. Like... That's some, I don't even know, some psychotic shit. Uh, no, and so, if anything, you encourage me to fucking tweet more. Yeah, if anything, I want you to tweet more because I want you to do, we, you know, we talked about it recently about you doing some segments and stuff right. like that. Right, but like Twitter, even if you're a content creator, Twitter is usually a waste of time. Like, you found a way to monetize it even, but... Well, because I'm one of the most part. hated men on Twitter. That's how come I'm on Right. <laughs> I have like 3,000 subscribers or followers on Twitter. It's like, there's really, it's just a waste of time to be on Twitter. So Sardos, what is this Saturday night? Are you gonna do a debate on my show or what? I need a I well, need a debate. Come on, man. I was looking I was looking forward to uh, just a free for all. Everybody call in and scream at Stardust or something. That okay, you know what? Uh, Stardust takes all comers. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Uh, um, so I guess uh, I don't know anything about like Jesse from Pot Awful. I just know that I get people in my chat who will who will uh, constantly be like, bring Jesse on, bring Jesse on. And I don't know anything about Yeah, I won't. Him. You know why I won't deal with him? Because he stabbed a friend of mine in the back. My friend mm -hmm. just started backed dot by. His name is Dax Herrera. He goes by Dick Masterson. Mm -hmm. And he's a great guy. He does nothing other than try to help other creators. Uh, Jesse P.S. is the most bitter, salty loser you could ever imagine. And I guess he thought I was going to go in on, you know, Dax back in the day. Uh, Dax is like my brother. He's going to be here next month. I would take a bullet for Dax Herrera. And I think that Jesse P.S. is the biggest cancer on this entire sector. I don't like him. I don't think he's funny. And I want nothing to do with him. He's insane. What? Like, he spent four hours making a virtual reality porn of me, whatever. Deep yeah, fake. he just made a so deep weird. fake. Listen, he just made a deep fake. That's the kind of guy we're talking about. Okay. Yeah, he spent money to make a deep fake. Guy. Okay. Right. He just spent. And again, look, man, I'm not saying I'm perfect. Look, I'm not being the moralizer. I'm just saying he literally just spent money to make a deep fake of my wife, a pornography yeah. episode. And, like, I don't even talk about this guy. Like, he's mad because of the dick thing. Uh, dick Masterson is actually, he started a new project, too, which was a Patreon alternative. He started Backed Buy, which is a which is an uncensorable. Please sign up, Stardust. I want to plug it now. Backed, B-A-C-K-E-D, 
dot by. It's an uncensorable Patreon alternative. It runs on crypto. I think everybody should sign up. And then you got ankle biters and losers like Jesse BS, who's not he's not doing anything. Look, even me. Okay, you know what? I'm not starting a crypto genius chain, but I'm putting on show. I'm putting on, sh on shows. I'm coming on your show. I try to like get everybody involved. Jesse PS is just an absolute fucking leech. Mm -hmm. Bad guy. Bad hombre. Ali Jamal says, Jesse is evil, and I want nothing to do with him. And that's what I feel like. Man, you know what? I try to be cool with the guy, too, Stardust. I actually try yeah. to be cool with this guy. And it's like, no, you know what? Fuck you. I don't want anything to do with you. No, he's fucking weird. He showed up to our house. and like. Well, you know, he wants a cozy there. channel. He begged. Shit. He begged for cozy channels. And I know who he talked to. Uh, and I put the kibosh he's on that. He sucks. He wouldn't Not to, I, don't, I don't have the final call. But I said, if you bring Jesse P.S. on, you're really looking. You might as well destroy cozy. Like, that's how bad he is. He did the same thing with Subculture and Worski and all this shit. He's just a bad guy, Stardust. So do what you want, but I think he's a piece yeah. of shit. Okay. Um, awesome. I, think, um, I, I do have a couple more questions. Um, what? Um, somebody said that Josh Moon pre, uh, just recently told people to stop messing with you. What did you think about that? I didn't hear it, uh, so I really couldn't comment on it. Um I, I, I have a long history with Josh Moon. I basically made his career as far as a podcaster goes. Now, he already had Kiwi Farms. I didn't make that. Uh, but before he came on my show, he was an absolute nobody. Uh, like many such cases, I created his career. Uh, I would be open to listening. You know, I'd have to hear it, right? Like, if you can play it right now, I'll listen. Um, I haven't heard it myself. I just, ha um, somebody mentioned it to me. Um, the other thing is that um, it, it seems a lot of your haters over the past few days have been um, essentially like freaking out and saying that you are on drugs and on pills and on, uh, yeah, on that. anything else. Um, I, I know that like you've had a few drinks, but um, is there any truth to what people are saying? Well, no, <laughs> I have been okay. celebrating since I've been back here, uh, yeah. south of the border, but nothing illegal. I've had a few drinks. I'm sitting here with my wife. Uh, no harm done to her. Yeah, I'm sure do, do you want to, do you want to show your face? There's nothing yeah, wrong. No um, so yeah, you know what, if anything, I will say this, I have overindulged a little bit in the last couple of days, but that turns into, Oh, Ralph strong. Look, dude, do you know that I made, uh, $250,000 off being a drunken asshole every single fucking night for like two years. Uh, so, you know, one or two nights back to the throwback, I don't think, uh, I don't yeah. think he'll kill it. Yeah. Okay. Um, so, uh, I'm going to go on to, um, and you can tell me if any of my questions are too much or if you just want to not answer them, but, um, have things always, have you ever been, so I'm, I'm going to your father-in-law, um prior to this now i want to say this before before uh, we get into this um i did say that i did not want to talk about this before oh, you know, oh right okay yeah no no, no but no I, i'm gonna i'm gonna let you go ahead and go into it but i just want to say that i did say that before we we had this conversation but you go ahead and go into it okay i, I was just going to ask um prior to this falling out that you had um have you ever had a falling out with your your father-in-law prior to this or your sister prior to this that was this big are you talking to me or to her uh, to to her yeah um i don't think that's an appropriate question okay all right fair enough um uh, uh so um it must be um a lot to be at the center of a lot of the controversy um what does uh amanda think is the most outrageous conspiracy theory about you and she can answer that if she would wish. Oh, I mean, where do we even start? Like, there's so many things that are clearly just fictional that people have run with. They mm -hmm. just do it to make him, like, mad. Uh, mm -hmm. Like, there's one thing where it clearly it's your chair and people are saying you farted or something or you pooped your pants. And, like, they're, like Nick Ricada was running with that. I don't know if you remember mm -hmm. that, Ethan. It's just what, so Are you stupid. talking about, like, the craziest shit of all time? There's so um, The dog, the dog. I think there was one story about... Uh, that you killed your like classmate's dog somehow. And it make, it's just like a crazy story that makes no sense whatsoever. People are just like, they'll say anything. Yeah. Yeah. People will say anything. Um, what happened with Nick Ricada? Are, are you guys not on good terms or? I mean, you know, we aren't. 
I actually don't know. Um, I mean, why would you ask that question if you didn't know we weren't on good terms? I know that he's also a target of a lot of the same people who target you. So I just, uh, I know that. Yeah, well, guess what? The chickens came home to roost. I told them they would. So that's his Mm -hmm. dumbass problem. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Um, All right. Um, I can see if there are any questions that uh, chatters have. Um, Somebody sent a message to say, I used to watch Killstream on YouTube. I got to respect everything Ralph has been through. Not many people could handle it. Um, The, I guess the, the next tough question I could ask is, um, I mean, you can ask whatever you want, but uh, I can respond however I want. Yeah, of well, course, of course. So, yeah. yeah. So, so we talked about this last time, but has Amanda seen the tape? Uh, I mean, I really don't think that's in your business, actually. Um, okay. I mean, how many tapes are there of your pussy floating around out there? I could ask you that. How there many people? How many people have seen your pussy spread out on the internet? Uh, I don't think a lot have. But. Well, I bet a few have, though. You just admitted that a few have. Uh, I mean, you've I taken a, photos of your pussy, and you have, have you taken you. photos? Have you taken photos of your pussy and shared them on the internet? I've had. I have a boyfriend. You have shared boyfriend. photos of your pussy on the internet, correct, Stardust? Uh, or Nimrod, or whatever the fuck your name is. That has happened, right? To, to one person, to one person. So you have, people have seen your pussy spread on the internet. The NSA has all, all No, 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 let me speak, let me speak. I, I don't need any help. You've, you've shown your pussy on the internet. Don't try to act holier than thou. No, no, I'm not trying to act holier okay, than thou. Okay, well, how many people? One, two, three, one four? Person. Okay, I don't believe that. I bet it's at least ten. Okay, I, I dress more conservatively than most female conservative streamers. On you spread your internet. pussy online. I don't give a fuck what you dress as. I mean, I think that my character... Probably you spread your pussy well. online and you send it around to men. To, to one person. Are you sure? Yeah. You know what, chat? Press the number. Chat in my chat and her chat. Press the number of people you think she sent her pussy to. And we'll see if it's one and we'll see if it's 100. No, no, you know, you wanted to go down this line of questioning. Just let's get the number in the chat. I, I'm just curious as to what they think. The chat is what matters. I'm seeing 10. I'm seeing a million, 50,000. Like, I'm seeing all kinds of numbers in here, Stardust. Now, you know, that's their opinion, not mine. I didn't say that. I know it's more than one, though. It's not. Yeah, you got what you deserved. Now, what else do you want? Um, I mean, we could do the free for all now if you'd like. Not really. What What is the free for all? What is the free for all? You gonna tell me how people saw your pussy online? How many that number was? Is that what you're gonna tell me? No, What's I the free for all? If you're gonna tell me, question. if you're gonna tell me the true number of the of the number of people who showed and fucking examined your pussy online, then I'll maybe I'll play the free for all. I the the free for all is I was just I thought we were going to have like a. Like a, we used to with Killstream, where we would have callers come in and they could ask me whatever they wanted or super chats, things like that. Well, see, this is my show, not your show. Yeah. So what? If you sell me the show. truthful number of how many people saw your pussy one. spread open, then I will play. I don't think I don't think even the one person has even seen my pussy spread open, right? Um, you don't, don't think person. so? Well, that's kind of sad. What the fuck? Not even one person has seen your pussy spread open? That seems kind of like it is. I don't even know what spread open means. You know exactly what it means. Shut the fuck Spread eagle? What, 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 do I need to, you know? I, I'm not the type of person that would send, like, a picture like that. Like, that's, you know. I think you are. I mean, but, I mean, that's up to you. I can't prove it, you know. I'm yeah. just saying I think you are. We can agree to disagree. Well, I think you are, and I think you opened up this purient line of questioning, and now you're uncomfortable because I turned the complete fucking not, table on you. No, you want to be Howard Stern? Like. Bitch, I'm Howard Stern. You're not going to fucking get purient with me. You okay, you know what? Fuck you. Like. Fuck you. Now, listen. You're yeah. going to listen to me. And so you wanted to get nasty. You wanted to get dirty. Let's get nasty. Let's get dirty. Sure. Okay. Okay, so what what would you like to ask? How many times have you spread your fucking nasty pussy flaps online? I have never done that. I don't believe that. You've never shown your pussy online. 
You've never shown your fucking pussy online. You asked about, you, you know what you asked about? You asked if she had seen the sex tape of the mother of my other child. Do you, do you know who you're talking to? Do you think I was going to let you off light with the way you talked to the fucking mother of my other child, my wife, who I just got married to the other day? Bitch, you don't know who the fuck you're talking to. How many times, how many times have you spread your fucking nasty fucking pussy online? I didn't mean to. Yeah, you meant to, but you didn't expect what was coming. Too fucking bad. You should have expected that. Okay, um, so I only meant to ask because th these are questions that a lot. Yeah, I don't of give a fuck. I don't give a fuck what you know. Did you want what they pay three dollars? They pay three dollars. Is that what they pay for your nasty pussy? Do you read a question and insult me? Fuck you. Fuck you. I'm telling you right now. I already told you before the show I wasn't getting into this. Fuck you. I got the DMs. Are you saying that didn't happen? I can't ask you one question. Are you saying that didn't happen? What? That I didn't say? Like, we weren't going into all this? You said it be a softball interview. No, I'm That's fine with going into it. Like, But if we're going to go into it, let's go into it. Okay, then let's go into it. Okay, let's go into it. How many times have you shown your nasty pussy all around this internet? Do you have any other questions for me? Well, I mean, do you have a number? You said one. Are you going to revise that or are you going to stick with one? I'm going to, I'm going to stick with, you know, I, um, maybe I'll do the same thing that you didn't say. I don't think that's any of your business. So, oh, 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 well, you damn sure thought it was your business when you asked me that fucking question, bitch. Okay. And then when you said that it was none of my business, I backed off. Okay. Well, no, you didn't. You tried to act like it was an insult. I got some insults for I you. I didn't ask. I didn't act like it was an insult. You can insult me all you want. I don't care. No shit. I will. I've been in this game. When you were fucking doing, you know, some shit in the eighth grade science class, I was running this shit. I don't know who the fuck you think you are, but it ain't me. So do you have do you have another question or is that why you is that why you said that I was that you viewed me like a protege the other day? Well, yeah, until you tried to sandbag me here on this air. I tried to sandbag you. Yeah, you I, did. I don't know if you expected me to give you an easy interview, but it's not. But what is easy about easy asking interview. my fucking I, wife? No, you you know what? What is no? Been, let no, me speak. The answer could have just been I don't. Okay, want you to know what? That and it would have been fine. No, it would have been, uh, oh, you're trying to make him look bad because he doesn't want to have his wife answer a question about the <laughs> lady uh, who I've, there's video evidence of me fucking on tape. What kind of question is that? Do you think you're Pierre's Morgan? Bitch, you're not. I mean, it's just hella unprofessional. Really. Of course it's unprofessional. She knows that from the start. And if you think I'm going to sit here and be friendly after you said some shit like that, you've got another fucking thing coming. Um, so when we, you and I talked there, it, I'm a little bit confused because when you and I talked, it seemed that there weren't a whole lot of these, uh, things. Now wait, didn't want think about, about there weren't, uh, but one of those things would be, Oh, did you see your husband Dick going into another female? And what did you think about that? Do you not think that that would be off limits or is that too fucking hard for you to understand? I mean, if I were dating somebody or if I were married to somebody who had a video like that out there, I probably, out of curiosity, would look at it. Would you go on an interview and talk about it? Of course Maybe. fucking not. Probably not. Not if you were married to somebody. It's just <laughs> low down. It's just low down. And look, I don't give a fuck. Like, I, I, I said all I needed to say about it. Uh, but, yeah, that's tacky, as my grandma would say. Very tacky. <laughs> All right. So, I mean, what do, do you want? Do you want her to pull it up off screen and give a blow by blow of my sex tape? Is that what you is that what you're looking for here, Stardust? Do you think the A logs will give you more money if she does a play by play off screen? Is that what you're really all fucking about? Huh? Is that what you want? Do you think I've made that much money tonight? I, I, I don't fucking I know. I made money. I don't know what you made. I make money. I don't know what you make.
Yeah, I, I'm a small content creator. I don't make that much. Well, you know what? I have respect before tonight because that was an actual just Bush League fucking ambush question that you tried on me tonight with my fucking wife sitting next to me asking, did she see my fucking sex tape and what she thought about it? You know what? That was fucking dirty as fuck. And you know it was dirty as fuck. Like, I don't really know what kind of response. And of course, look, no, look, you know what? Just answer that. You don't think you think that was cool? Uh, I mean, obviously, it's a hard question, right? But it's, it's not it's that like it's you're, hard. It's disrespectful, Ralph, right? It's disrespectful. It's not that it's a hard question. I'm married to this man. I know everything about him. Sure, I love I what I I love through, him. So I've sat, I've sat through way like I've sat through so many disrespectful things, so many disrespectful super chats, so many disrespectful call-ins, and you can't if you can't just respond to one question where and say, oh, I don't feel comfortable answering that, or I don't want to talk about that. It would have been fine. You know what? Has your husband ever had a sex tape out where you're supposed to get on air and review that, Stardust? Do I, do I throw a fit every time you have somebody come on your show and ask me something nasty? Look, all I'm just saying is I'm not getting paid no super chats to talk about some sex okay, tape. I wasn't getting paid super chats to get talk to you nastily on his show either. And why did you come on the show? And did, I, did I throw a fit over it? No, because guess what? This is professional. This is the professional. This world. is not this professional. Is You're literally this asking about is. something that was clearly oh, oh, off you limits. And you also asked these questions about my dad. On. Before and, this and interview, you, you were told in particular not to go there. Hey, hey, starter, shut up, bitch. My wife's talking. Let her finish what she's saying. You had a whole lot to say. those super chats were. No, you know what? I told you before air, I didn't want to talk about her dad's stuff. I didn't want that for her. And you brought it up anyway, thinking you're going to big dog me. You ain't going to big dog shit. You won't big dog. You didn't forget shit. You're a lying motherfucker. You were told not to bring that shit up, and you brought it up anyway. Tell me I'm lying. No, I, you brought it. You I have it. the proof, Stardust. Do you want me to put it out? Hey, hey, Stardust, I have the proof. Stardust, I have the proof. Tell the. not aware that today was going to be. You know what? Tell the truth. I thought today was going to be a debate. I didn't think today was going to be the Amanda interview. You agreed not to go into that stuff. If I'd known that this was. The Man, Amanda you're so interview. full of shit. This is like Rakeda tier law. You're like lawyering right here uh and you knew that was not part of the equation we can talk about anything else i didn't want to get into it with her dad for her i fucking hate her dad obviously but it's still her dad he's a piece of shit quite frankly but i didn't want to get into all that but you brought it up anyway you did Sure, but I did not know today was going to be the amanda interview i thought today was going to be free for all debate stardust I don't know why you have the mic pointed at me for that. I don't know. I don't know. I, I really I not also ask you to, you know, about having free for all, having call in stuff like that. Yes, which I agreed to, but the I, I didn't have I time. Thought it was a debate. I thought it was a debate. I didn't have I time. Didn't you know what? You You're twisting two things though. Like I didn't have time to set up a free for all debate. Then that's fine. I didn't know that. This I see some people interview. wanting to come in right now on a free for all debate. I wonder if I'm even. I mean, I'd be okay awesome. with it if, uh, again, like I never had a problem with people saying nasty things to me. Okay, uh, do I just join in on this? Uh, yeah, but it's like okay, we're doing. It's not that like, I just don't want to dredge up the family drama bullshit. Like, okay, then we can. It's move not, on. you know what I mean? Like, it's like okay, what the fuck? Um, yeah, I can talk about that forever. Um, okay, we'll see. Is this the, I don't even know what the fuck this is you use. It has your own logo. Is this any good? Oh, uh, oh, the where, where be, I mean, I don't know. Um, I thought you did call-ins differently on your show, uh, through like discord or something or. I'm well, sure I, I use tele, like, so. I use, um. Yeah, Telegram and Google Meet. That's what I usually use. Oh, okay. All right, now here comes Beerson. If we'll let him in. Oh, um, let's see. I don't have a notification. All right, let's see.
Uh, you know what? I'll just start a live stream too. Let's see. Uh, Telegram. Hello? There's Beardson. What up, Beardson? Hey, hi. How's it going? Going fine. How's it going with you? Uh, it's going pretty good. What's uh, what's going on? I, I kinda, <laughs> you hear yell at me? <laughs> no, I kinda, I'm not going to lie. I'm kind of just, I just popped in and then Ralph gave me the link. So I was like, well, fuck it, man. Ralph, Ralph and me all calls you answer, you know? Yeah. Well, I, I was kind of expecting people to come in and yell at me. So, I mean, I you know. Can. Yeah, let's do it. Yeah, you're an ugly bitch. Okay. So are you. No, I'm not. Yeah, you are. Your hairline's no, receding. I'm, I'm yeah. white. You're brown. Uh -huh. Oh, big you one. Hairy arms. You got, you got it. You got my arms are so hairy right now. Wow. Are, holy shit. You're like literally hairless, my dude. But are you waxing them? Have you started waxing? I've always been waxing. Oh, hey, okay, good for you. I'm glad. <laughs> I'm glad you, glad you took care of that. Dude, shit. What do you think? You know my life. I don't know your life. I okay, haven't talked well, about you in like six months. Okay. But anyways, how's life, man? How's how's things going? Going fine. <laughs> Yeah. Nice uh, porno mustache you got there. What? You know, the porn oh mustache. I forgot, I forgot you're like completely unfunny. I forgot you're the lamest fucking bitch. I forgot me. that you're a fucking beta bitch. Spit it out. So. Yeah, spit it out. Yeah. Oh, man. I'm wounded here. Oh, jeez. So am I. I'm so wounded. Uh, so why, are you being mean around? If Stardust wasn't such a bitch, she'd fly to Mexico. Yeah. <laughs> is this it? This is the backup you called, Ethan? I mean, I could call some more backup if you want. Fuck my like I, said, I didn't even know what was going on. I just Ralph gave me a link and I just I just hopped in. But you know, no. it's always a good time to come in here and just call you like ugly and fat. Yeah, never heard that one before. It doesn't matter. Apparently, not enough. Yeah, you have wounded me so much. I wish I did. Maybe then you'd go to the fucking gym or something, lose some weight. I mean, at least I can go to the gym. You can't do anything for your receding hairline, so. Yeah, hey, you know, like that's, that, that's the thing. Yeah, I mean, that, well, that's. The, well, you don't know me. You don't know me. You You're know Danny DeStrito. All right, now, let's see. Uh, what? You should change your name to, like, Fat Dust. Because you're fat. <laughs> I would just. A really good one there, Beerson. You're the, you're the professional <laughs> comedian here. I am, yeah. I crack myself yeah. up. Fatty. Star fat. Yeah. C Captain's log. We just like, encountered a huge yeah, fat Indian something. woman in space. Yeah. It's a Star Trek reference. You get it? No. They couldn't put you in the teleporter because you'd be too fucking fat. They couldn't beat mm -hmm. you down. Yeah. You get caught. You get caught. Yeah. Yeah. You living that good Christian life? Trying. Yeah. How's that going yeah. for you? Pretty good. Yeah. Are you still living that, I don't know, I don't know what kind of fucked up life you live where you like look at your dad's dick or whatever, I don't know. Uh, I mean, like, you've seen your dad's dick too. No, I haven't. Yeah, you have. You've seen it at least. The joke, the joke is not, the joke is that you've seen it at least once. As soon as I brought it up, it's like, oh, here we go, here's the fucking conversation. The joke is that you've seen it at least once. No, the joke is that you're not funny. That's the joke. Okay, the joke is that you're, I guess you're uncomfortable with admitting that you've seen it at least once. It's every time, man. It's like, dude, anytime I need to get you to go on some like autistic rant and just bring up your dad's dick and you're just like. You're the one, you're the one bringing it up, if anything. My dad's dick is on your mind. No, I just so, brought up the lame shit again. Like, that's what I'm you saying. You brought it up. I didn't even bring it up. I, I wouldn't sweetie, have brought sweetie, it up sweetie, if you hadn't brought it up. We hit the so, Super Show so. fun. That was the joke. Stardust was trying to sandbag my wife, dude. What the fuck, man? Like, that was... Why? I didn't turn the sandbag. Yeah. Why'd you do that? I don't know why. I thought we were cool. But... What, I mean, did he expect it to be a softball interview? Like... Okay, wait. What was the hard question that you asked? That was going to be the hard question. What? Have you, you know, do you know of this? Do I know of what? Of this tape. I mean, of course she does. What the fuck? Like, it's worldwide news. Like, And, like, what do you think of, of people making it the center of controversy? I mean, dude, plenty of famous people have their dick out there. I don't know what to tell you. Like, um, <laughs> Okay, but that, I mean, that's what I was going to ask her. Like, what do you think? But it's like you said you weren't going to go into the dad. You said you weren't going to go into the... Yeah, but you lied though. Be honest. Tell the tell the honest truth. You lied. Like, 
I didn't even I care. Thought, if you would have just hold on, day. I didn't can I speak? It was going to be interview day. Can I speak? Go ahead. Okay. Well, you said you weren't going to <laughs> to ask about the dad stuff, which you did. Uh, then you said you weren't. That was my mistake. That was my mistake. Okay. Well. You know what? You didn't say the sex tape, so I'll give you credit there. You didn't lie about that, but you'd already lied about the other, so it's like, okay, this person's trying to... I did not... I, did, I, I made an honest mistake there. I didn't even think that this was going to be the interview day. Otherwise, I would have prepared more questions. Well, I wanted her to have an interview because I think they malign her a lot for no reason, and I yeah. wanted her to have a decent interview. That's why I was mad because... It was like, damn. I would love to have a decent interview with her, but again, I will I have her on there solo. Like, I'm not against that. I I didn't know that this was going to be interview day because I thought you yeah, know, that makes her sense. Along, that and makes I thought sense. that it was you know debate day. I thought it was going to be free for all. Everybody come yell at Stardust, you know. Yeah, I that mean, makes I was sense. Anticipating that, and I was actually looking forward to that because <laughs> I had a lot of energy. Well, let's do out. that next weekend. How about that? We'll do that next weekend. And I just felt like, I don't know. I felt. Like, oh, my God, it's turned into, uh, you know, let's make her look bad. And, you know, answer the bad. questions, honestly. But I just want her to have a fair hearing. You know what I mean? Because a lot of these people lie about her, quite frankly. And so yeah. that was my problem with it. So. Okay. And I, I still like Stardust. And we can still argue. We don't have to. Yeah. I think this is just a misunderstanding. I like your Christmas decorations, Beardson, even if I don't like you. Thank you. Do you like Do you like Jesus? Uh, I'm an atheist, so. Why? What the fuck, I don't man? Believe in anything. <laughs> no, I mean, like, well, yeah, duh. I know what an atheist, dumbass. Like, yeah. I know what that is. I know. I get the concept. Why? Of why? Yeah. Like, why do you not believe in anything? I just don't. I mean, I guess if I looked like you, I wouldn't believe in God either. Now wait. Yeah, nice yeah. one. <laughs> <laughs> nice one. Thank you. Well, you should believe in God. I'm going to go. Uh, I don't really, I just, just right, want to talk to Hey and say Stardust, you're ugly. But I love you, and I love you, Ralph. God bless Love you, too, man. Take care. Uh, Stardust, yeah. thanks for having us on. Maybe we'll do it again sometime. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we can We can, uh, We can. can talk and, and see, you know, um, probably something with a few, a little bit more in advance. Yeah, it was a little haphazard. Yeah, for real. Yeah, yeah for sure. Uh, all right, take it easy. All right, you too. Thank you for watching this clip. This is the CACA Lofa. Remember to like and subscribe.